Hello there, my name is Stefan and I'm recording this as an add-on to my application for the Juxcraft server. This uh, video is intended for to watch um, to mass OLP and holy hot pies. In this video I'm going to be showing off uh, some of the creations I have in Minecraft since I wasn't able to apply them as a picture or some other form in the application for in the application I have sent. So um, without further ado, let's begin. First off, in my let's play world we have the land of the mage Stefan, the land of bitterness and sorrow. So I have pretty much put my heart and soul in this build. It's it's huge. Pretty much all of the blocks in the area are hand placed. All of the trees, all of the everything, basically. So there's the little guy here watching, taking the tickets and taking the money and yeah. Um, there's like an outpost there um, for the guards, I guess. Okay, there. They even they should even have names on them. If something hasn't happened to them, okay, something has happened to them. But yeah, they they have names on them. I I kind of use a bit of a cheat to get the names on. But these villagers are quite legit. So this is the mage tower. I haven't finished it yet. It needs a bit more still, but yeah, it has a lot of different levels to it, and I'm gonna show off all of them. I guess. Um, and there's the land there. And like there's glowing trees all around the place. Um, I'm gonna show off uh, there first. And we have like a little uh, thing here for the boats to get tied to. Oh, I know why the names don't show up. Okay, I'm guessing these two are bitterness and sorrow. Let's check. Bitterness and sorrow, yes. Okay, so if you were wondering why it's the land of bitterness and sorrow, now you know. Um, I have lights like these tiki torches here and there. Um, the music is a bit too loud. I have a glowing lake here. And this little canopy above. And yeah, it's it's nice atmosphere. Uh, let's quickly run off to the building there. Just in timing though, uh, we're gonna see how the whole place looks at night. Because it's, it's very pretty. It's er Everything is glowing. As I said, I still need to work on, on this, but yeah, this is basically how the first floor looks for now. This is gonna be like a lobby area. I'm gonna have like a bar at the back there, some stools here and there, and yeah. Also there is a secret in the fountain, which I'm gonna show at a later state. Maybe after I show the other layers. But yeah, here I have the nether. It's like the dark mage has uh, got like these 
different layers from the Minecraft world stolen, I guess. So yeah, this one is the nether. I've tried to recreate it as best as I could, but I'm still missing something. I don't know what though. Next up, we have like an... Well, I guess an enchanted forest. There is no such biome in Minecraft, but... I, just, I thought it would look nice and... Yeah, it did. And it does. It looks nice, in my opinion, at least. Next up, we have like an ice, icy biome here, like an Antarctica uh, cut off from Antarctica piece here. And oh, Enderman damaged here. And yeah, there's like more empty layers above but I'm still gonna go up to show and yeah that's the this is the like the sleeping area I guess for the dark mage and that's his black butler oh you're gonna fall so hard why did I jump in here I'm gonna push him now I should put a door somewhere around here so that he knows it's home. And yeah, there's no... This is gonna be the bed area, I guess. And there's no ceiling yet. Let's see, can I... Maybe I can rush through him. Oh well. Down he goes. I'm gonna get a new one. I've got the farm going, but the cherry on top this is how the land looks if there wasn't uh, any fog it would have looked even better but I haven't got uh, my optifine installed so it looks like this for now Um, next up, I guess we're gonna have a look at my underwater base in my Let's Play world. This actually, this is not my base. This is just a fancy build I wanted to do. And yes, the idea is not originally mine, but I made it better. Like, the idea of a high square tower, I looked, I saw in our person's work but I I worked it I worked on it and like this this bridge here like half slab bridge is not gonna be here and I'm gonna use like ender pearls to get in and out and yeah there was no uh, such glowing I guess area in that person's build and no magical layers stolen from another world but yeah, let's let's go to the next build, I guess. And we Okay, another work in progress is my main living area. I have uh only five buildings for now, but I want well six basically but pra uh not basically but there are six buildings, but one is just a shack with temporary tools and blocks and stuff. And I want to build a lot more. Like, I want the whole bottom of this ocean to be covered in like these little, or not so little buildings. But uh, uh, for now I have the main uh, house, I guess. That one there. I have a farm, which is there. I have a cow farm, which is that one there. A furnace room, the small one in between. And the big one there, not as big as that one, but the, the wide one there is the storage room, which I'm quite proud of actually. It turned out better than I was 
planning it to be. But let's see now how they look. So yeah, this is the farm here. Everything is nicely lit up. And there is like these glass tunnels in which you can see which you can see from above and um, makes it for a more complete look I, I guess let's use the proper entrance I have like a water stream going down in the middle of the building there there this one so yeah let's let's check it out first this is the bottom I'm gonna put some pixel art here I guess out of nether brick and these are half slabs so no mobs will spawn here where it's dark everything is mob proof here every single block except for endermen I guess they can teleport and yeah this is my upper floor and this is how I usually get in and out of the building and they have like some temporary storage here and there I need some more chests though but yeah let's let's go to the farm here first and once again okay I'm gonna demonstrate it just just in case basically you take I'm gonna go with potatoes because I don't have much of those so basically you walk on the pressure plate and the clock triggers this whole mechanism there's these things which are uh, full of bone meal and more bone meal here and here and basically you just hold right click and raining potatoes and this works with carrots no problem and with wheat and you can see that there's a different type of block there that's uh, that's jungle wood so it also works with cocoa beans but you gotta do like this so yeah you can see the number in the bottom there is growing rapidly and yet if I just stay there stay on the pressure plate it's not gonna waste any of the bone meal so I can stay here for like forever and yeah it gets quite annoying after a while there's a pressure uh, crafting table here and a lot of lighting let's go to the cow farm not the most humane one I I gotta say but I'm pretty sure in McDonald's they're like pretty much the same and I have some trees here and there but I need to make them glowing trees sorry about the cut there I got the coughing reaction but yeah this is my cow farm um, not the best one I guess it could be better I have two chests here one with just random items sugarcane yeah and yeah one with the wheat for the cows yeah let's let's breed them why not so I just go like this and jump around and hold right click and in like a minute everything is working just great let's see are there any that need some more love yeah there's this one guy here yep there we go and baby and yet I just leave the axes there move please thank you very much you too baby and just press the button and walk out 
that's how the cows don't go out and uh, they don't glitch into the walls because of that trick I did with the fences and the water so here we have like a little intersection there is going to be like a bedroom somewhere around there but I haven't planned that far yet ahead here is my furnace room not the prettiest thing but I oh an enderman has been here that is bad oh do I have something in here? no nope. and the jewel in this collection I guess is the storage room um, yeah it's quite pink I guess here's my redstone pillar I'm gonna have like a great organization here of chests I'm gonna have all different kinds of pillars for the mass storage items and the more unique ones will get like each chest and uh, there I can show off my redstone skills you see you didn't see a crafting table anywhere in this whole building well doesn't this single piece of glowstone look a bit suspicious it does doesn't it well you press the button and here's the crafting table and you just do whatever and just press the button they switch and here's the thing not the hardest one I guess but yeah it's a like a double block double uh, piston extender block swapper I guess because I didn't want the plain old thing I kinda wanted something more fancy and yeah it didn't take me that much to figure out but yep so um, off to the next thing okay now we're in my test world where I have some other things I've been working on in creative and in MC edit and yeah I'm gonna be showing them off because they're like they show off my imagination and creativity I guess so yeah first off we have the heads not, not, not that interesting then uh, I had an idea of like uh, an RPG in Minecraft I guess and I've got the final set of items the, the ultimate items uh, for the final level champion or player I guess ready so I've prepared them here and yes yeah, some of those some of these chests are empty some of them are have like lower level stuff this here this is the ultimate chest and yeah they're, they're a little bit used up because I had to try them out but we have like a space suit pretty much this is the invulnerability armor uh, let's start with the helmet unbreaking 10 protection 10 respiration 10 yeah that's only this thing is gonna be enough to protect you from pretty much everything but then protection 10 unbreaking 10 and feather falling 10 on the leggings and the same on diamond boots and this is the jewel in the whole set unbreaking 10 protection 10 feather falling 10 respiration 10 and blast protection 10 with this you're invulnerable to any sort of attack in basic minecraft no matter how big it is okay next we have like this pretty much lightsaber I would say sharpness 10 this can kill I think this can kill the inner dragon in 15 hits with it after of course the crystals have been destroyed and this is 
my creation. This is the book of knowledge is power. I like reading books. I like uh, doing stuff the smart way. And this is a book I thought of. Knowledge is power. Written book. Knockback 4, Sharpness 5, Fire Aspect 3, Looting 2. Only on a book. And it's empty, I think. One, 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 one. There. Yeah. It's empty, but yeah, probably in the finished version it's gonna have some sort of a mystic text in it, I guess. So, and yeah, this is probably gonna be the first level of, uh, of, uh, or more or less this is gonna be the first level of warrior. Like, have this sort of sword, a battle sign, and yeah, and there's the, the, the armor piece for that one. And yeah, just these are the this is like uh, I guess this is a master item an epic drop I could call it like this is one in a million drop I guess or even even less but yeah next thing I want to show let's remove this glass it's not that interesting with the glass. And yeah, probably you can hear my mouse clicking, but yeah, I need to buy another one soon, I guess. Okay, I've got these custom spawners here with pigs. And this is what they do. It calms the nerves watching this flying pigs and if you're quick enough you can actually get the right one but it's like it's a very it's very hard yeah enough of that um yeah a giant tree there uh next up I guess I'm gonna go to a PvP map I have started building. Yeah. Okay, we're at the map I have uh, started to build and not finished still. I'm working on it. I would like to see it finished as well. But yeah, right now we're at the lobby area and I'm gonna do uh, a fly out into the air like thing just to show off the amazingness of this building here and that stone there is like the entrance to the uh, wiry but yeah um, the bedrock bowl here is like MC edited in but the glowstone that's hand placed and it's amazing. It looks it looks awesome in my opinion. And so in this uh yeah, right now we're in the the PvP uh or yeah, the PvP map here, the unfinished one. Uh so in this uh game uh there is gonna be two teams attackers and defenders uh, the attackers job is gonna be to destroy a certain block in the or kill every single one of the defenders I'm not entirely certain what the objective is gonna be but the attackers are like uh, the underworld I guess it's, repre it's represented by the nether in Minecraft and uh, the defenders are from the overworld and that you can probably call the attackers evil and the defenders good but 
there is no such thing as good and evil. It's just in the mind. It's just in the mind, man. Yeah. That's funny. But right now I'm gonna show... Yeah, yeah here. Yeah, my shot here, chicken. Yeah, making me destroy my ground. Come on. Shoo. And there's the book there. Um, right now I'm gonna show off the attacker's ground here. Like the underworld. And the slow reveal. Ta -da! So yeah. This is how, or well, it's not finished this part here. That's mostly my building concerns are regarding this building here. Is there? It's not finished, and I want to finish it as soon as possible. But yeah, this is gonna be like a throne room, and uh, I guess uh, some places here and there where. Uh, the smaller shrine, if I can call them, are gonna be. So yeah, uh, I'm thinking of putting some kind of buffs on the, or debuffs depending on the team, on this pur petrified, purified, putrefied, on the evil area here. Um, like, for example, uh, regeneration and something for the team that's that's supposed to be on this ground and some debuffs like poison and stuff for the art team if they step here and like pretty much instant death if they get to here because like this is gonna be the spawn for the the opposite team and uh, yeah like here could be a humongous uh, region and there's a path which the red team this is the red team and the other team is the blue team should follow and it's a very clear path a very clear red path that nobody can miss and I especially like how I made the trees like dead and half dead like just just a small part that's been caught in there um, yeah so there is this is the path here I don't like how the animals are walking on it but yeah I can't do anything about that and the guys just follow the path here oh chunk errors okay and there's like these half putrefied trees and yet on this path yeah they're gonna the red team is gonna have like fire resistance on them and probably the blue team is gonna have water breathing or something like that on them like constant thing I made it as easy as possible for the teams to get from one lane to the other. Hey, redstone dust. Bye bye. Um, yeah, and there's gonna be like some more buffs or debuffs depending on the team. Uh, I'm thinking of having once a red team member walks out of the the red path here. Uh, the strong buffs to run out like in a matter of seconds like the regen and uh, probably speed it's gonna be they're gonna run out very fast hmm a skeleton must have died here so yeah we're getting towards the end of the path here and soon we're gonna see the grand reveal of the blue team's base I hope.
I don't remember it being it that long, so yeah, there. These pigs show the way. And yeah, this is... I used MC Edit to replace all of the water with lava here. So that's... Oh, there was... Oh, no, that's just stone. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, yeah. Like, here the path is gonna be like very thin and like only one block deep and yeah it's continuing there but there is the castle I have built this one myself and it's got some yeah and this is like the end of the path here there's like random blocks here and there left but I think this one this block here is no wait well, yeah, you get the you get the point. And there's a bedrock wall all around the whole uh, map. But yeah, let's let's show the this building here. And I'm thinking of installing like a cookie maker somewhere inside, like a spawner for cookies. Because like I need some sort of junk food for both teams. I'm gonna have rotten flesh for the red team and cookies for this team, probably. So yeah, I have the nice door here, doorway, archway, whatever you want to call it. And there's do not press, yeah, an epic pressure plate. I'm gonna show off what it does in a second here, but let's just Manual lockdown, use only in case of emergency. And yet, the emergency is gonna come, that's for certain. When the other team comes, yeah. Let's go in. I'm gonna have different classes of um, players, I guess. I'm gonna have like a, a brewer, an alchemist which has like these bottle of enchanting and all of this all of the jazz here uh, a baker with, who is gonna make the food and there's like some cookies here and there and I decided to put the 8 coal in each uh, furnace here and there's like this crafter I guess is gonna be and there's a golden apple like a notch golden apple in every chest and this guy is gonna make like all the armor tools and stuff and there's like on the other end too and there's the second level here there's like uh, enchantment tables with different top level enchantments I kinda wanted to see but I don't think I can yeah okay so yeah uh, the different like this is the lowest enchantment table the lowest level enchantment table and this is the highest level enchantment table and this is the bulk storage here with every item that is gonna be granted to the players like grass, bedrock, snow brick, moss stone, nether brick every chest uh, here is reachable so yeah they're gonna they're not gonna have any tough time reaching any of them smooth sandstone Sponges. I don't know why I put sponges in, but hey, maybe the players will figure something out. A bit of food, not not much. Oops. Uh, stone and obsidian. I don't know why the obsidian. More grass, uh, gravel, sand, gravel, sand, both, and like some random blocks here. A lot of jukeboxes, some note blocks, all of the music discs, redstone, a single piece of TNT. This is a transportation chest, I guess. There's minecarts, boats, pigs and saddles. And there's the rails, and more rails. And this is the interesting side of the thing here. There's some leather for armor, some more stuff for armor, and weapons, and yeah, and the higher the thing goes, the better the loot in it. Yeah, it's like emeralds and gold, emeralds and diamonds, and 
mostly diamonds and emeralds here. And here's for brewing, like instant health potions and stuff, and why not paper? I need to put some more, something more. And here's the stuff for the brewer. Torches, I think these are three stacks of torches. Coal and food. More coal, flint, steel, uh, basic equipment basically. And here's like for each player. I like, uh, I'm thinking of having not too much players in each team. Like, nine players in team is quite a good number, I feel. So yeah, chain helmets, wooden sword, bow, and some arrows. Not, not an infinite, not an infinite amount of arrows, as you can see. Uh, cookie, uh, materials and some more food here so yeah this is this is in the chests here and everything else should be mined if I if I allow that oh yeah and I didn't show the mascot here like the blue team has this Luna on top of their base that not that not that high up I thought it was higher but yeah. So there's two ladders to help the players get up here. I need to put some more lighting. Oops. And yeah, there's like these bridges to get to the walls. There's lighting all over all over the place here and some spiral staircases for the towers nothing too fancy I guess just a plain old castle and yeah there there used to be a doorway here but I decided I should remove it and maybe I should put like obsidian uh, in the middle of that's a three block uh, thick wall I think yeah, a three block thick wall. So I'm thinking of putting like obsidian in the middle of the thing. And I'm gonna have villagers in these little pens. Custom villagers with uh, custom things, custom traits in them. So yeah, this is one of the traits I'm gonna have like uh, three emeralds and an iron sword. You get this fish with sharpness 7, looting 3 and unbreaking 5. Yeah, why not unbreaking? The fish is gonna last forever. Unless you eat it. And you get, two di uh, you get the Knowledge is Power book with 2 diamonds and 8 emeralds. Uh, nether cube. I think this is the nether star but uh, thanks to the texture pack I can't know. But yet, yeah, this is like most of the diamonds in the map that I'm giving away. And the nether star or cube. And you get this DS cutter S from Stefan. But yeah, I couldn't think of a more original name. Which, which is basically the best thing, the best item in the game, probably. So, a secret I have here is an ultimate weapon that's free to get as long as you have the blocks to pillar up here um, this is like hidden here the power of the moon grants the one player the golden sword with like yeah not the best sword but I guess I can make it probably work somehow uh, did I show off what's here? Yeah, welcome to Moonlight Village. Uh, we hope your stay will be pleasant. So, there's some more signs here. When you see the enemies, press the pressure plate at the bottom of the arch. That one there. So, there's gotta be a one player always here looking around for the enemy. Two players will be even better because one can just 
go down, jump on the pressure plate and the other one can jump down here and take the emergency manual lockdown thing and yeah okay I'm gonna show off what this pressure plate actually does and jump did I manage to do that? no I haven't so yeah I think it should be still working I don't know I haven't tested it in a while but yeah the doors get uh, closed off here yeah it's a bit hmm it's gotten broken a bit but yeah it's not as fast as it used to be that's for certain and yeah it gets up to there and it stops so yeah the enemy would have to dig, dig through to get to there and uh, the emergency uh, lockdown mechanism is just uh, fences right to to just fence it off here like like this before the enemy comes and even like you can even put like this more fences it's it's quite enough like these are quite enough and yeah I have like free access to wood and I'm gonna have like a villager on that side uh, with uh, most of the crafting recipes or like I'm gonna have a set of villagers with the crafting recipes in them ooh well I haven't done much here uh, yeah like have all the crafting recipes one will need and I'm gonna use stuff like equivalent exchange uh, to exchange items for diamonds and emeralds and stuff like that so yet yeah, uh, those guys have uh, their diamonds and emeralds and stuff like that all given to them uh, but it's limited and these guys will have an unlimited amount but they will like have to mine like 64 of these blocks for two diamonds for example or for an emerald I wanted to make some sort of spikes here but I failed miserably so yeah this is the PvP map I'm having in mind here I haven't given up on it that's for certain and yet this there is like a whole bunch of cursed land here behind this whole thing it's not just the mountain here I really went pretty much all out and this is like for example 64 netherrack for a diamond or two diamonds and uh, yet these guys are gonna have their picks are gonna have picks uh, free like they, they won't have to create picks well I'm gonna I'm guessing I'm gonna give them like almost broken iron picks and uh, an infinite amount probably of stone picks or maybe not an infinite amount because that's gonna be a bit too overpowered I guess but yeah you get that you get my idea so yeah this is where I'm up to with my creations for now oh you thought I forgot about the secret here didn't you no I've always kept it in my mind so um, I did promise to show the secret here and yes there is a secret inside this fountain um, 
I had a friend of mine write a poem about this, but I I haven't got it uh, prepared, so yeah, sorry. But it was like something like throw a junk item and the door opens. So yeah, I have this this glowstone here is the key. Well, actually, it's the keyhole and. Every, any item in the game is the key. Yep, there we go. And I don't think there's any possible way not to take any damage there. I've tried it many times. So yeah, this is Stefan Dark Mage's uh, storage room. It's basically a maze. Cobblestone items, cobblestone. Yeah, I have a lot of cobblestone here. I think there's more cobblestone here. Yep. And I have uh, two double chests full of, full of cobblestone. So yeah, I was talking about the maze. Yeah, it's, it's very linear, but you get very disoriented very quickly. Uh, there was some items... No. Here, yeah, netherrack. You see that? There's the ladder to the lower level. Going down. And more amazing maze. I I get even I get disoriented here. Like I don't remember all of the all of the ladders. It's like five layers down, I think. Yeah, there. Um, and yeah, it's difficult to remember all of that. And no mobs would spawn here. If the chests weren't here, it would it wouldn't have been all that cramped, and it would be easier to walk around. But um, yeah, I needed to do something with this, so. Why not make it a storage room? Not for me, of course. For Stefan the Dark Mage. So yeah, next one is here. As I can see. Yeah, going down is not the problem. Going up is, I think, the problem. And I'm thinking of having this building with a little bit tweak of tweaks here and there, like obsidian or bedrock instead of sand. And cobblestone and stuff like that and I'm thinking of these to be empty chests and you have to find like uh, one item in uh, in all of this it's probably gonna be something like side quest not not the major quest because that's annoying and repetitive and imagine if you had to check all of the chests here it's like Five stacks, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's five stacks of chests. There's the next level down. And there's like a troll, a bit of a troll at the end. Um, yeah, it's like a five by five grid, all, all down. If you can remember what's going on. Yeah, I think this here is where... yeah. And yeah, once you checked all of the chests above, and you need to check all of these as well. And yeah, you mad bro. And yeah, I get, I got all of these. And I, I'm probably gonna have like creepers with... Uh, like, and I'm gonna disable the... What was I speaking about? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have creeper spawners all over this place with disabled creeper damage to them. No? No one? Where? <laughs> okay, I'm lost. Where's the exit? There? Yeah. No, that's, that's going down here then. No, it should be here, maybe, yep, there's the letter. 
yeah, I usually don't get lost at all, but man, once I do, there is no finding me. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to exit out of here safely. It's successful for now. Okay, um, next one is at the bottom here on the left. Yep. Yeah, I remember the first ones. Then after that it becomes a big mush in my head. Uh, and this one is again at the bottom here on the left. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And one last. Ooh, that was a bit of an unexpected one. I got scared even. Man. Okay. And there's like a button here. Just open the, the door. Yeah, exiting it is not as painful. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you find my application uh, very entertaining and uh, successful if I can call it that. And yeah, thank you for watching, I guess. Oh wait, I already said that. Well, yeah, bye.